So on Friday, 2020 Democratic presidential hopeful Kirsten Gillibrand voiced her support of eliminating the Electoral College, something many Democrats and liberals have supported since President Donald Trump defeated Hillary Clinton in 2016. So we know you support Medicare for all, you support Bernie Sanders, what about eliminating the Electoral College? MSNBC's Willie Gist asked on Morning Joe. Kirsten Gillibrand revealed she does not want to end the Electoral College and quickly shifted to talking about health care without explaining why such a move would be a good idea. She said, yeah, I support getting rid of the Electoral College, Gillibrand replied, but let me tell you my view on health care. Okay, so we need to talk a little bit about this and how the Democrats and liberals alike have completely lost their God-loving mind. So again, since 2016, the Democrats and liberals alike have all jumped on this bandwagon of eliminating the Electoral College because somehow Hillary Clinton had won the popular vote but not the Electoral College vote. And that somehow is a bad and evil thing and we need to get rid of it and go back to a real democracy in where the majority oppresses the minority. Because the Democrats simply do not have a firm understanding of why we have an electoral college in the first place. And here is a very common misunderstanding that a lot of people have. America is not a democracy. And I'll say that again. America is not a democracy. America is a constitutional republic based and founded by our constitution. Having somebody be elected with the popular vote leads into all kinds of problems down the road because all you have to do is literally stuff the ballot boxes of any major city and then boom, whatever candidate you want ends up winning. Just like in Hillary Clinton's case. Because Hillary Clinton had won the popular vote and the vast majority of her votes that led her into winning the popular vote came from California. So essentially, if we ran on that kind of platform, California would essentially decide who becomes president because they have so many tens of millions of people living within the state. Having somebody be elected based on the popular vote is nothing better than mob rule, which we have seen throughout history has been a very bad outcome because democracy sucks. Democracy is terrible because democracy allows their, their leaders to be elected under mob rule, under the popular vote. Now here's, this is, this is what makes America different and this is what makes America so much better. Our country is a constitutional republic and each individual little state is represented by senators and representatives and so on and so forth, or at least is supposed to be represented by them. And each little state is basically like its own country with very certain rules and regulations and laws specific to that state. You are not going to have the same laws and regulations in Texas like you are going to have in California. And all of these individual little states, individual little, you know, basically little countries are united in, in a union that is the United States. Now your state's population does matter in terms of how many electoral college votes your state receives. Like for example, California has 55 electoral college votes, the most of any other state in the union. And as you know, all you need is 270 to win the majority and become president. So California with its 55 electoral college votes matter, but it doesn't matter that much. You still need other states to come in and go blue or red for your candidate in order for them to win the election. And it also matters because you could have California again basically deciding who becomes president because there's so many millions of people in the state and the vast, vast majority of them tend to vote only one way, which can cause the seeds of tyranny to be planted. So the Electoral College helps in that sense because then California cannot dictate who and who, who may not become president. Maine has a say. Illinois has a say. 
Texas has a say. All of these states have a say in who becomes president. So the Democrats have completely lost their marbles when, in, when, when they come out and say that they want to destroy or completely get rid of the Electoral College because Hillary Clinton didn't win in 2016. Even though all of the polls indicated that she had, what, a 95% chance of beating Trump. I remember when I went to the New York Times website to watch the election and the states go down, there was a little poll there that was suggesting that Hillary Clinton had a 97% chance of winning the election that night. And as the night progressed, it, it went lower and lower and lower until it, you know, reached 0%. So it's pretty obvious that a lot of Democrats and liberals and so on and so forth are still very salty about Hillary Clinton losing in 2016, but they honestly just need to get rid of that and just let it go because the Electoral College has been with us since 1787. It is not going to go anywhere and just continuing to say it and say, oh, I want to abolish it, I want to get rid of it is madness. Yes, you are appealing to your audience, to your far left audience, but again, the far left, even, in, even within the Democratic Party, is a minority. Yes, a very loud and persistent minority, but a minority nonetheless. The vast majority of the American population is going to hear something like abolish the Electoral College, and they are going to abandon the Democratic Party, which many Americans are already starting to do or have done. Abolishing the Electoral College would essentially destroy America because that is what we are founded on and that's how we have stopped our country from slipping into tyranny. Now I'm pretty sure Democrats like Christian Gillibrand isn't actually for abolishing the Electoral College because I would hope she is at least smarter than that and understands why we have it and understands why it's so important. But I just don't think it's a smart idea to continue with this parading about it and saying how, you know, taking it on as a campaign issue for the Democrats because it's madness. It's, it's complete lunacy. How could you honestly want to abolish something or at least have it as a campaign issue and have it go good with the majority of the American population, especially the independents? You see, the Democrats already have a problem with sounding sane and sounding at least centrist. Because you have to remember that the vast majority of Americans are already on the side of, you know, in the middle. They're, they're not Republicans, they're not Democrats, they're, they're mostly independents or apolitical. And every so, you know, four years when it's time to elect a new president, that that's when the people get into politics and they look at both sides and then they make their decisions. But the problem with within the Democratic Party, and, and I'll talk more about this in my next video, is that the Democratic Party is split in two. The Democratic Party is supporting absolute crazy lunatic ideas like abolishing the Electoral College. The Democrats have embraced socialism, embraced illegal immigrants, and it is the Democrats who keep going down this path of more and more radical beliefs. Even if the, you know, standard old corporate Democrats don't believe any of the shenanigans, if they want to appease that far left loudest minority within even their own party, they have to toe the line of insane policies. And completely eliminating the Electoral College is one of those insane policies and issues that the Democrats have adopted. And in future contexts, it's just not going to play out well for them because number one, it's never going to happen in a million years. It's just like all their conservatives who are, you know, very scared of the Democrats coming for their guns, that they want to destroy the Second Amendment. Even though that is true that that's what the Democrats ultimately want, it is essentially never going to happen because the Supreme Court is just going to shut it down. Now what the Democrats could do is just, you know, keep pushing gun control, keep pushing, you know, more and more bans on certain types of ammos, but essentially, inevitably, it's going to be like, okay, that's enough, you've, you've done too much now. And a lot of those restrictions have been eliminated thanks to President Trump. But eliminating the Electoral College is complete insanity. It will not help us, it will damage the American society to a point of non-existence. Because that is how you get a tyrannical government, is having a mob rule vote for them in the majority, while not listening to the voices of the minority. And I thought the Democrats were all about the voices of the minority. 
But I guess somehow, some way that that is just not the case anymore. And the Democrats have completely gone just, just, just crazy now. Now, I hope in 2020 that that's not actually going to be a real campaign issue because it's going to fall flat and nobody, especially the majority of people in America, are just not going to listen to it. The only people who are receptive to that kind of message, the message of eliminating the Electoral College, is the far-left SJW section of the Democratic Party, which is a minority in the party in, in itself. So by doing such a thing, you are not helping your party and you are not helping the country. You are just appeasing to some radicals within your party. But either way, you guys go ahead and let me know what you thought about this in the comment section below. And that's it for this video. Peace out, guys.